Well, believe it or not, it is actually drying up in here. We got some cows getting jumped, which means we're gonna have to start doing some, uh, we'll have to get the AI, our neighbor out to put some semen in these cows that are in heat, probably later on in the day. And this area probably dropped close to four, well, I'm gonna say almost six inches of water it dropped in here it was water up to here yesterday so it is going down we took a bucket and opened up a huge area to let the water out Once you get the water flowing on top, then it starts to go. What's oh, that? she's been getting jump lots. Well, Louise over here is in heat. Well, do you throw one in her? That's what I said. I'll put that that one that uh, Gary gave me. I'll throw that in her. Is it black or is it uh, it's red? It's a red white face. Oh, I can show you it. I mean, I have no idea on it. But. <sighs> We're going to bed them again today. Oh, I think well, kind of made a plan of action. We're going to uh, we're going to move Google in with some of our cows, and we are uh, we actually let two of our bulls in out at the pastures. We uh, let the let the bulls out there, so breeding season has begun with them, and we're going to move <coughs> Google in and let the heifers uh, heifer bull get it with them. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, moving some cows around, it's mucky, it's gross, <laughs> but that stuff's got to get done. So, um, yep. Straighten your tires out. Oh, it's slimy and gross. Yep. We're not going to want to do this any more than we have to. Keep coming. No. He's sliding down. Daryl, Daryl, let's unload Google. We'll walk him in, and we'll go to Glenn's and grab that that adapter. Okay. I don't even think we're gonna have to. All right, buddy. Let's go. Come. Doesn't matter if he goes in there. Okay, let's go. Come on. You follow your food. Hey. There we go. Come on, bud. Now move over there, Dylan. Come on. Tip. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Good job. Uh, nope, you're going that way. That way. Come on, let's go. Uh, let's go. Just be careful. There he goes. Now he sees it.
Hip! Hip! Leave that one herfer behind. You can. Come on, can you get in there? Okay, now we got a four. There. I got one gone. Move in, guys, move in. Move in, Dylan. Just walk in. Get that Hereford out of there. There you go. No, just keep that. There. There, it's three Herefords gone. No work. We're down to one. Just wait. Let's let's Move in, Dylan. How many do we have left? Two, four, six, eight, nine. That we can get no problem on the trailer. What's that? Right, open, they don't come out that side. Just cut them off. Come on. Can you only put three in that last one? Yeah. Two, four, two, four, six, eight. Eight in there. All right, all we need is one of you to start. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yep. 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 There we go. No, no, no. We want you. Reverse psychology. Oh, and look who's the last one. Come in and push from the rear, my dear. No, let her be, let her be. Perfect. Just swing the door right open. Hey. All right, ladies, let's go. Come on! 
Let's go. Yep. Yep. All right. I'll drive that ahead and we can close this gate. time today we're gonna to try and move some pairs out and possibly even the newest twins because um, it's way drier there way better for them so we're gonna see if we can get that today but uh, this morning has been a bit of a battle dealing with all this mud trying to maneuver and get them fed so yeah it's mud takes a lot more work a lot more time to get stuff done Got to give uh, a little bit of corn silage. And our heifers are now at the bowl. So, looks like Cutter is already trying to breed a couple. I've seen him jump once. Peter's busy doing all, this, uh, all the shredding in, in the pens. I've just been bringing in bales. It makes it go just a lot quicker. Not going in and out. Get it done. heifers back we got some pens to uh, our pens out here we want to change them a bit so that the cows aren't walking in complete uh, slop to the water so we got, we got a few pounds we want to change around um, might try and make it a little bit easier for them so Move some panels around and make this pen a little different. We, can, we want to move this windbreak right here. We have more access to the water for the cows so they don't have to go through this, uh, this, uh, the water here. So, yeah, so many cows are uh, so curious. We just opened this pen up and they all want to check out what's going on here. So, yeah. Be a little bit 
thought for here cause a curious now okay we got things changed up here this pen is a lot bigger a lot more cows in it but this pen is very very muddy it's uh, not as bad as last year but it's pretty brutal so opened it up gave him a little bit of a better shot at the drinker and yeah so anyway changing things up that's why we like panels we can change things up mid-season if we like later on tonight we got uh, norbert durockney neighbor that does our uh, he does our ai stuff he's gonna be coming by we got three for sure possibly six uh cows <laughs> that have uh they got pink stickers on the back so that means They've been jumping. These two are two of them. And uh, well, Google's here. He doesn't like the fence right now. But later on, he's gonna come by and he's gonna be uh, breeding these these uh, cows. So yeah, it's lunch. It's supper time. So uh, time to go in for supper. But hopefully, we can get things drying up here. It's just it's ridiculous ridiculous we need some sunshine and we're finally got it at the end of the day today i'm just gonna go for a quick walk see how the calves are all doing and then go in for supper Licking your baby girl. That one right there, that one was the one that weighed uh, 138 pounds when he was born. Me? Yeah, cows are doing good. All right, fresh straw, they should be good here for another day or two. There's some big calves in here already. These two right there. That one and that one. They are uh, some beautiful looking calves. A lot of them are good, but uh, sometimes earlier on you pick your favorites. You know, you'd think he'd be somewhat happy. He's got like I think it's got to be 60 or 70 cows on this side that he can pick from. But clearly he wants these two ladies right here, but you can't have. <clears throat> so the plan right now, Cutter, our, our heifer bull, our black Angus heifer bull, uh, he's getting a little bit big, getting up there in age. Awesome bull. Um, but this black one right here, right there, we're, um, we're thinking this one's going to be our next heifer bull. Um, a lot of things are great. And one thing that we do take note of 
that if you can see him right now this cow is in heat right now and he's already been following the cows that have been in heat and he's been trying to breed them it's very early but um from what we've been told is if a calf is starting to do that at a young age they've got that they've got that bull instinct on uh, wanting to work so i've seen him try to jump a few times already so that's obviously he can't do it but um doing that is good it's a good sign that he can be a bull when he gets bigger Me? Just chillaxing. Okay. Hey. All right. This calf has been acting off. He's got a touch of pneumonia. Has been struggling to eat. We've treated him a couple times. Not doing the greatest, that calf. These other two seem to be doing awesome. That calf there is one that uh, is off the cow. When we were surprised that we had twins off of her. That calf isn't doing so hot. I'm having to tube it. Just not wanting to eat very well. Not a lot of energy. Hoping he can bounce through and, uh, and beat the pneumonia and the, the lung issues he's having. So. All right, let's go ladies, make the turn. Oh, a gateway, this is torture, isn't it? Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Where's that calf? The calf doesn't need to. Oh, that gate is wide open. Good call. Uh, no, now you can go. Now I'll go. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, Greta. Let's go. Let's go. Good catch, Dylan. Let's go. Come on. There. Eloise, let's go. Yep. Try the Alright, Greta has been bred. Hopefully. Well, the last two these cats have been twins. All right, sweetie, let's go. All right, Eloise, let's go. Come, come. Come on. So AI versus embryo, you don't have to go quite as far up the cervix, correct? That's the difference? Yeah. Like, or do you still go? With embryos, he, he feels the horn, he uh, checks which horn she ovulated in. Oh, and then, yeah. And then he puts the, puts the embryo in that horn. Gotcha. So, yeah. And here you're putting it just I'm just horn. going just through the cervix, just, just, just past the cervix kind of thing. So the semen's kind of got to find its way to the horn. Yep. Which some people I know will go deeper and put a little bit in each horn, but 
I've never really learned that way. And well, you got good success the way it's going, oh, so why yeah. change anything? Well, I don't even know. We got all of them last year except one. Is that you? right? All of his caught last year except one. Well, 453 not. I'd have to go back and check, but I know it was fairly high. That was pretty good. I well, was 453 could percent. have, it could have just slipped it early. Right, but we didn't get a calf off of it. Yeah. I'm saying. I'd have to figure out, yeah. So when did you do your emeralds? Just recently too, or? On Tuesday. So they got done Tuesday and. About what time? Uh, you got here at three o'clock? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Cause when we were going to Carmen on Tuesday for 4-H for meeting at about six, I met Dave going that way. He must have been leaving here. We've met him about Morley Jones there. Or yeah, so. what about six you said? Probably around six, six, yeah. Yeah, because he'll have been going to double, double R, is that right? Triple R. Triple okay. R. Yeah, because I kind of figure one. Get out of here. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed we were going to do half the first shot. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's six done. And we got another five that we're doing. So, Eloise was one that we uh, we actually didn't do any of the cedar stuff. Uh, we just noticed that she was getting jumped uh, this morning at the right time to AI her tonight. So that's why we put uh, <coughs> we AI'd her. We AI'd her now. So I guess we'll see if that works. We've done that in the past, and it's worked out. So. Um, yeah, and she's a really good cow. Anyway. No, it depends, switched around here. Got rid of that windbreak. It's kind of opened things up. Hoping things dry out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how, but it always does every year. So, um... But yeah, we were wanting the cows to be able to get to this water on this stuff instead of walking in that muck. So, the warm weather is coming. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. <clears throat> Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.